Small intestine bacterial overgrowth, otherwise known as SIBA. What is it? Well, it's an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine, which is the first part of the intestine after the stomach. And it can occur for many reasons. It's an overgrowth of maybe E. coli, streptococcus, uh, lactobacillus, um, bacteroids, enterococcus. It, it is um, bacteria where it's not supposed to be. In the small intestine, there isn't supposed to be that much bacteria. And that overgrowth can cause bloating, diarrhea, vomiting, loss of weight. So the in the large intestine, there is a large amount of of um, bacteria and the ileocecal valve generally keeps that bacteria out of the small intestine but if there's been surgery or if there's diabetic colitis or blockages that can interfere with that process and the small intestine becomes flooded with the um, unwanted bacteria. So what can you do about it? Well first of all you need to see a health practitioner Generally, it can be diagnosed by a breath test, a uh, hydrogen breath test. Um, hydrogen or methane depends on the, um, the kind of breath tests that are being used to diagnose exactly what's going on. But the breath test can help, but also the physical symptoms are very, very clear. There are some uh, practitioners who may do an exploratory. It may not be necessary. Treatment is often with antibiotics. I don't favour antibiotics. I favour certain probiotics, and it has to be specific probiotics, so that it, it, it is supporting it. Uh, it's allowing the small intestine to function properly and to self-regulate. Self-regulation is very, very important. So if you think you've got SIBO, or if you've been diagnosed with SIBO, see a medical nutritionist and a naturopath. Take care for now. See you later.